What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Jubilee anniversary event, which will start April the 4th at 10 a.m. Eastern and run until April the 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern. As a part of the special extended stay, even better than the 100% XP buff once gained by eating slices of cake, is now active throughout the whole event with no risk of losing the benefit due to the ongoing battle or a full stomach. To get started, complete the quest for Cake Sake to earn this year's Jubilee Cake, available from the Young Chef Apprentice near the docks of Volkel Guard, Davin's Watch, and Dagger Fall or found free in the quest starter section of the in-game crown store. Once you've acquired the 2024 Jubilee Cake Memento, you can earn three event tickets each day by simply using your cake and enjoying a delicious slice. Combine that with this year's event's special length and you can earn up to 60 total event tickets. And as a reminder, unlike previous years, using the cake is not necessary to keep that 100% XP buff. The only time you will have to use the cake memento is to get your three tickets. So be sure to enjoy a slice of cake every day to get your tickets and try not to let them get stuck between your teeth. So pretty much like the Jester's Festival, that XP boost will be something that is going on passively in the background you will not have to eat cake every two hours to gain that XP boost, but you will have to eat cake at least once a day to gain your event tickets. The Jubilee cake isn't the only thing seeing improvements this year. The traditional anniversary Jubilee gift boxes are changing too. You can now earn gift boxes from additional sources, and these first gift boxes you earn from any source each day will be a gold glorious anniversary Jubilee gift box with incredible rewards. Additionally, reward boxes will be regular anniversary Jubilee boxes, but don't let that concern you. These boxes give rewards of similar quality to the gold boxes of the past years. You can earn gift boxes from any of the following sources. Bear in mind that only the first gift box earned each day will be a glorious box, no matter where you get it. Any daily quest in the game, as previous years, include daily crypti- uh, crafting writs, daily delve world bosses, an incursion event quest, daily alliance war and battleground quest, daily dungeon and trial quest, daily heist and sacrament quest, killing and looting any final dungeon boss, killing and looting any final trials boss, and killing and looting any world boss. Completing, uh, completing any incursion event such as a dark anchor, abyss geyser, or similar uh, kind of thing will also reward those rewards for the worthy uh, mail the box will appear inside the parcel received a chance from tales of tribute reward mails with a higher chance to re- uh, receive one based on the challenge of the opponent or the number of opponents facing during the uh, during a daily the box will appear inside the parcel received also what is, uh, what's in these wonderful boxes you might ask In the case of the Glorious Anniversary Jubilee gift box available once daily, they contain crafting materials, a motif chapter, furnishing recipe, or style item. The new tradable outfit style page for the Earth Bone Armor style, a new fragment for the new Jubilee Steed mount. Note that you need 25 total fragments to make the steed, so keep some event tickets ready if you want this one or 1 to 10 transmute crystals or desecrated grave soul or the worm cult style item. The subsequent boxes earned in the day are anniversary jubilee boxes also can contain uh, crafting materials, a small chance for a motif chapter, furnishing recipe or style item, a chance for 1 to 10 uh, transmute crystals, a chance for desecrated grave soul, worm cult style item, a chance for a tradable style page for uh, last year's bone mold armor style another small chance for a tradable style page from any of the bone mold uh, saber kill or worm cult outfit style pages that's a treasure trove of rewards in every box and playing ESO throughout the event can earn you great uh, you great many boxes but that's not all in addition to the gift boxes and the rewards 
you also can earn cos new cosmetic rewards that have never been available or earnable in game although they may be familiar to some players as an extremely small chance from any fishing node during the jubilee you may find outfit style pages from true flame sword replica uh, any dolman reward chest has a chance to contain a style page from the staff of worms in recognition though not honor uh, and also any world boss in Vardenfell has a chance to drop a style page for uh, the Barba's uh, helmet replica. Uh, also, any geyser in Somerset has a chance to drop a style page for the Olvor staff as seen during that chapter story. So we have several different things there that uh, I think a lot of people will be interested in, especially that true sword flame replica. Uh, that's something that I know some of you may not have seen. Some of you may have not seen any of these if you have not played some of these past chapters. So that's definitely a bonus added to this. Event tickets and vendors. When you've got as many event tickets as the Jubilee will award, you need things to spend them on. Fortunately, the uh, event vendor came prepared with the extension stock for her stall. Or extensive, excuse me, stock for her stall. In preparation for this year's events or festivities, she has filled her inventory with things like all three Molog Ball Illusion Imp Pet Fragments, the first two fragments of the new Mastery of Schemes personality, bound style pages for the Earthbone armor style, anniversary cake furnishings. Note these require you to own the respective year's cake memento to buy. Anniversary cake slice furnishings. Unlike the full cakes, you do not need to own the respective year's cake memento to buy those. Jubilee Steed Mount Fragments. Bags of Jubilee yesteryear containing the following, uh, following provided only items you do not currently own. So the Bound Worm Cult Motif chapter pages, uh, the Paladin Armor pages, the Imperial Champion, the Prophet, the Lyris, the uh, Sa Sahan, the Abnar Tharn, uh, Bound Saber Kill, Bound Bone Mold, also the Fire Pet uh, Spider Parts, the Desecrated Grave Soil, Group Repair Kits, and Companion Guild Commendations. All that inventory makes the event vendor quite well stocked indeed, but the assistant also has all three Unstable Morpholite Pet Fragments and all three Deadland Scorcher Skin Fragments. And of, co of course, coming in last in the list, but not by no means least, the Endrick vendor will have the following items as well, the Feathers and Berries, and the Shimmering Endric Pet, uh, and the Rim Dusk Endric Pet as well. Three cheers for 10 years of the decade of ESO already passed us, so as we now look to the future, uh, a future full of cake, gift boxes, and XP boost. What are your plans for the special occasion to come? So this year's event, they went a little, uh, little more, uh, I guess, reward-wise than they have in the past. So they're giving out more rewards with each vendor. You're getting a longer time. This is a great time to really rank up characters, uh, make new characters, or just enjoy the event in general with the ability to be able to get 60 event tickets. I know a lot of people will be out there playing every day, getting those tickets, but there's a lot of things you can get during this event as well uh, with kind of some of the extra rewards in the Jubilee boxes and also some of the extra rewards you can get from the vendors themselves. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this year's or this 10-year anniversary event. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.